Wolverines versus Cheetahs. Seed number one versus seed number four. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. This is a full Turkish lobby, by the way. Full Turkish lobby. Chat, here we go. Add them in the classic endpoint car. Here we go. So who's going to win? The Turkish team or the Turkish team? <laughs> oh, not an early goal. The thing that I've noticed with Cheetahs is they do very early goals early on. Obviously, that's why they call it early goals. And then they seem to like just pitch down. Who's going to be winning this series chat? Give your votes in chat. Is it going to be Wolverines or Cheetahs? Add them with a drag to the middle. On the extended Buzz G. There we go. Yo, I think that's the most aggressive we've seen Buzz G so far. I think they had a little conversation. Because for Buzz G to be that aggressive, that's crazy. Good. We like to see that. Who the fuck is Pio? Is that not one of their subs? That's one of their subs, no? Add them off the backboard. Doesn't get it. Mesa into the corner. Challenged by Buzz G, but it's fine. Under there as well. Add them for a quick follow-up. Bro, it doesn't matter how much people they put up there. He's just going to try to run through all of them. That's crazy. This is the same person? Okay, I didn't know that. Add them off the wall. Stop by under cube for some reason. Under takes up the sidewall. Buzz G. Yo. Okay. I think they I think either they had a conversation with Buzz G or Buzz G just turned around and was like, you know what? You two can both fuck off. I'm gonna start playing now. Under sorry, under. Buzz G is pulling up starting this match. I like it. Oh, he got outsped though. Here's Lorenti with a solo play. Can't get it. Not against Erdem. Erdem and Buzz G go for a pinch play. Doesn't work, but Mesa fucks it up. Here's Buzz G. Pops it high. Passes it, but Erdem does respond. Puts it mid. Ande is ready for the play. Ande is up. Challenged by Lorenti. Bumped. Mesa puts it mid. Buzz G can get an easy touch on that. Lorenti challenges quickly. Oh. Lorenti in the back, on the on the left. Adam going solo. Buzz G. Off the backboard. Buzz G with a shot on net, and it's almost in, but Lorenti saves it. Here's Adam coming in with a fast pace. Mesa challenges him. Lorenti takes it up high, but Ande takes it off the wall. Into the ceiling. Buzz G following short. Chat, why does it always take me so long to warm up for something? Whether that's playing Rocket League, casting Rocket League, streaming, coaching, talking, jerking off, taking a shit. Mesa, what the fuck are you doing? Alio, Buzz G! No, Leolan? What the fuck was that? Abi, other take had like shit. Send them the Yoram on the other new side. Damn, bro. On that. Nah, today's something weird is happening today. I love Turkish Twitch. I fucking love Turkish Twitch. <laughs> nah, something's up today, man. Everyone's playing weird. <laughs> I feel weird. The weather is weird. The players are weird. Ande can score. Erdem is farming assists. What does Tekel like to 31 at 39 mean? I don't know, bro. If no, okay, Erdem had to score that one. That was that was too goofy not to. That was too goofy not to.
You should have paid cheetahs as well. I don't think. Okay. Oh no, that's 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 painful. I think he panicked a little bit there. Yeah, the offense is a little bit lacking. However, I think oh, it's also a little bit of the nerves because cheetahs know wolverines, but wolverines I don't think they know cheetahs. For for Turkish players, the, the players on Wolverines are not unknown names. Not necessarily saying they're the best. That's just far from it. That's not what I'm saying. But they're they aren't unknown names because the Turkish rocket community is not that big. We resemble the French a little bit. Oh, point blank shot from Buzzy, bar out, and Cheetahs is not even getting a redemption goal because it's such a um, close knit community like the French. Everyone knows each other. So I think it's also a little bit nerves. It's a little bit of, you know, stream nerves as well. But I think that they're playing well. Zero shots from Wolverines. Is this the last series of the day? Yes. After this, we have the show match of the biggest rivalry, probably. Which is Dwarf Bot versus the Discord. Oh, that's a dunk. That's a dunk. Lawrence is going to put that in his fucking folder. Who got dunked? It was under. No, Ande, no. Oh, no. That is painful, brother. Okay, there's apparently... Quick update, there's, an, there's a discussion happening right now. Whether or not the Rhinos match is gonna still happen. That's a shot on that from Pure. Who the hell is Pure, bro? Is that a sub? Who the hell is that? On there, off the sidewall. Puts it up for Buzz G. Bro, I got. I I'm sorry I keep saying the same shit over and over again. But it's just. I'm so happy that Buzz G is playing more aggressive. It gives so much more character to the team now. I like it. Shout out to Buzz G, man. I like that shit. I like motherfuckers doing well. That puts a smile on my face, and that might be him, but it's not. Buzz G again pushing the the challenge there early. Out of them, doesn't get outsped by Lauren T. Buzz G leaves it there. We're going for another pinch shot there. Into middle, and a redirect from Buzz G. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pure off the wall. Takes a shot on that. It's more of a pot shot. It's not real danger. It's not happening. What the fuck? I look at chat for two seconds. Because I see Razum's beautiful name. And what the hell is this? On the shoots? Damn, bro. Your ass. Damn, bro. Damn. That's ass. No amount of Fs in chat is gonna save him from that. Erdep doesn't get past two or three rather. Ande up high. That's a double coming from Cheetahs. That might be dangerous because Ande still has the ball. Puts it mid. Here's Buzz G. Goes all two in the air. Almost gonna say all three. Ande tap. That's a triple commit once again. I think the Cheetahs are running dry, but as I say that, Erdem doesn't read the ball correctly. Don't see that very often. Here's Ande with another solo play as we're... Oh, no, he been there. That is not good. The Cheetahs might score on this one. And they don't. Buzz G keeps it high. <laughs> Off the ceiling into pure... He shoots, but it's such a... What's the ass shot? It's so bad. Stop being bad. There you go. Okay, I just got confirmation as soon as Erdem scored that the Rhinos versus Panthers matchup is still happening after this one. So we've got one more series after this. 
before we're gonna go into the show match. So we will be seeing the Rhinos play the Panthers. On that, he completely messed it up. And this is a, a, the Cheetahs were so confused. They didn't know what to do there. And that's a 1v1 situation, but Undead puts it forward. Adam misses the shot on that. Laurenti creates too much of a gap. Neo Kwan Hoshkadin. Buzz G. Undead. Adam puts it to the side. He wants the boost, but it's not there. No, your teammate just picked it up, bro. You ain't getting it. Now you got it. Drop in front of the net is very dangerous, but they're not doing anything with it. They're letting him have it. I think Adam is really trying to farm the fucking assist. <laughs> okay, here we go. Under. Adam is all the way off field. I have no idea what he's doing there. And Under just going across field drag. And he gets it. He just went for a cross field drag. And he just put it in like it's nothing. He even had the fucking dunk. He makes it look so easy. I gotta give I gotta I gotta let you guys in on a secret though. Ande is one of the more favorite players in the league. Ande is the one that at least I have noticed is being talked about the most, as in most favorite player. So he is he's definitely the, 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 the viewer favorite, Ande. We should do a poll, actually, but I think Ande would, would, would win that one. Laurenti with a backwards challenge. 4-1, game two. Popularity rankings? We can do that. But the thing is, everyone's going to vote for their friend. Ooh, Mesa doesn't respond. They could have tried to keep the goal differential a little bit lower if he responded to that. But trying to go at least go for another goal. Like, it, it does make a difference if you lose with 4-3 versus 4-0 or 4-1. Like, you want to lose with as little difference as possible if you're going to lose. Obviously, don't fucking lose. Don't be a fuck up. But if you decide to lose, because it is a decision. If you do decide to lose and Adam gets a demo... 5-1 goal differential going up. If you do, then at least try to lose with as little goal difference as possible. I have a feeling that the Wolverines are sitting there laughing their ass off and just joking around while playing this game. With all due respect to Cheetahs. And I'm not saying that because it's so ridiculously easy for them. It's just how they are. They're goofballs. They're just goofing off. Chat, don't go anywhere after this match. Don't go anywhere after the series. We've got one more series for the jungle after this one. And after that, we've got the most bitter rivalry show match in the entirety of the Discord's uh, history. Sorry, words are really hard for me today. Here we go. Game number three. Are the Wolverines going to get a full sweep? On the <laughs> the Cheetahs are having a really rough day. This this is the Turk curse chat. This is the Turk curse because they were for weeks. People were like, "Well, what do you think of the Cheetahs? What do you think of the Cheetahs?" And I go every single time. I go, "They're playing surprisingly well. They're pretty good. They're playing surprisingly well. I think they're gonna do really well." On the week that I big them up the most. Literally the next week, which is this one, they lose just horribly to everyone. Poor Cheetahs. I wish them the best, though. I'm happy they're here, but... I, I think I just need to stop bigging up teams. Every single time I say something nice about a team, they just start doing bad. Every single time. On that, and Andes scores the first one for Wolverines with 55 seconds into the game. Beauty. 
Who the fuck is Romeo Ninja Warrior Go? Who the hell is that, bro? You goofy ass up. You can foresee Turk Curses now? Are you foreseeing the foresight of the foreskin? Add them. Solo. Shoots on net. No, Anda almost steals it. I see. And I'm going all the way back. Leaves it for Buzz. I think that is. Oh, Anda again. That was a synchronous dodge from Pure Anda. Double commit. Buzz G in the air. Gets a beautiful read. Not the perfect touch, but a beautiful read. Set up from Adam. A little bit flamboyant. A little bit extra. But we like to see that. We like flamboyant players. Don't we, chat? The more flamboyant they are, the better. Say it with me. Flamboyant Adam. Adam, does he score that? He has to be extra. He has to be flamboyant. He gets the assist, though. It's like he does it on porpoise. Yes, they do. Yeah. No, the cheetahs, the pan. I respect all teams. Except the beavers. Damn. 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 That is the. Even Vultures? Yes. Dead ass. Yes. I think it's the worst when you set up a play for yourself and not only do you get beat into your play, but your opponent creates a play off of the play. Not he comes in and he scores. No, he grabs your play, adds another play, and then scores. Like he scores nice. I know this joke has been made often, but I feel like that is when you hang up the controller. I'd be like, you know what? I'm just gonna go play fucking Mountain Blade 2 or some shit, because this ain't it. Oh, no. Look at him farm the assist, bro. Look at him farming it. This is... This. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> we need a montage just of Adam's assist, bro. That's going to be funny. Nah, I think I don't. I don't expect the cheetahs to come back from this. But again, the best they can do right now is to at least try their best to change the goal differential because this one's gonna hurt. This one is actually going to hurt. And as Undead with a shot on net doesn't get a buzz G gets blocked. Adam isn't gonna score. We know that. But this might be the four one. But Undead blocks it. Buzz G responds quickly. Adam in the middle. Buzz G goes for a solo play. Doesn't get it. On the scores. It is it is pretty one-sided. Okay. I take it back. It is. But then again, it rewards. We've made it so that it rewards to have many, many goals for and as little goals against. It makes a difference. The mercy rule, we don't do that shit, bro. This is the SRZ League. This is the jungle. Not the fucking kindergarten. If you can't handle trash talk, if you can't handle ruthlessness, don't join. Like that. That's just ouch. Enis, hello. Is she single? Yes. This is just. Can we forfeit this match? Damn. Damn. Have you for the count? No, I am not having you. Ouch. If they get 10 nils, they will actually have been, will be doing worse than, was it Vultures? I think it is Vultures. Strange noises coming from Karabi. 
Yeah, Buzz is making a big difference. And I think it's it's fair for him to notice and hear this on stream. On this dickhead just keep trying to go for the goal, bro. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just like fuck you. We don't do no forfeit. Take it. Take it like the slut you are. The whole team is OP, should be nerfed. Nope, there are no rules to how good your teammates are. You can bring whoever you want. As long as they stick around, as long as they play. Listen, this still isn't the worst. Okay, this might turn into the worst loss. I mean, at least they're setting records. I, th I think this would have been a very different series if it was last week's Buzz G. Yes, I agree. I agree, 100%. It does make a difference. And this is also why I enjoy leagues over tournaments. Because one week you can be doing really, really well. And one week you can be doing really, really well, worse. And it just makes all the difference. It's just who is the most consistent. Bayern Munich versus Sunday League team. That's a 10. Are they forfeiting? They just stopped playing. Okay. <laughs> really? Okay, bro. Yo, Rusty, Salty, what do we do in this case, bro? This is wild. Abby, this is so wild. Score another one! Score another one! Let this go down into the history as the biggest goal difference ever. Score another one, quick! 11 has to be the world record. Score it! Score it! Buzz! No! You had the opportunity! Damn! You could have made a difference if you did 11! Damn, if they only scored one more, that actually would have been the jungle history.